Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys and those that are new make sure you go ahead and subscribe now click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and I want to talk to you guys about a lot of changes that's coming up with my channel plus my paid membership and so on and so forth um so um number one I call this the gym pop number two because it's general population and I also call everybody Lola's because the story is let me see if I can make it shorter um, it comes from a book Lola comes from a book a character out of a book that always peeped into her neighbors and everybody windows and made up stories and assumed different things what was going on tried to figure out who they really were so to speak and I feel like when you're on YouTube and looking at people videos you draw a perception of that person or your idea of that person um, just by getting a small glance into their life so that's why I call everybody Lola's um, and I am the queen of Lola's because I do peep in people windows I mean not literally but in YouTube um, the chatterbox is something that I created for primarily doll collectors. Um, just a place where it's about dolls, uh, just stuff that I can, you know, do without people that have no clue of the hobby or don't really follow me on my platforms and stuff um, could be in there. And people that are really like supporters of my channel um, I think the paid channel membership came about when YouTube uh, changed the way they were doing monetization. A lot of us used to make a lot of money on YouTube and then they slowed down our viral videos and um, our channel and the algorithm changed and all this stuff and it really messed up a lot of income for a lot of YouTubers. Now when I first started YouTube I did not monetize my channel. I actually, and I always give credit to Pooh Bear 253 because I was watching her video and she was monetized and she was talking about it. And then I said, hmm, maybe I should do it. And back then it took like, you know, almost six months just to get $100. So it wasn't a lot in the beginning. But at this point, I was already years in of doing YouTube. So I did not start my channel to make money. My channel is not <clears throat> solely to make money off of YouTube. But I later, once I started painting, I saw it as a vehicle to showcase my work and make money off my dolls, if that makes sense. So a lot of YouTubers, big YouTubers, they make money, but it's not necessarily off of the channel itself. Some do, but a lot of them make their money off the products that they're selling on their channel, if that makes sense. Anyway, so to to uh, go a little bit further in, so the chatterbox, I think, became like a supplement, just like super chats and the super thanks, where like if you see on my tab now under the description bar, you can do a super thanks and like leave like a, a monetary thank you uh, for whatever amount. Those things were created to help creators be able to kind of fund their channel, so to speak. Um, a lot of people don't consider the time, the equipment, um, and I don't do fancy, and I don't do a lot of fancy edits. Whenever I do any type of editing, it does take a lot of time just to do small edits. I'm not that good with with technology to know how to do all the edits and the you know intros and all that stuff. Um, my intro that I have, I paid. Um, someone to do that and it cost me hundreds of dollars just for that small in intro so i am i over the years i've invested a lot of money in just rather it's just the lights the tripods that type stuff um all right so the chatterbox i started out i used to have it up at the the highest rate um and then when I left and I came back and and started my paid membership up again, I started out at $1.99 just so more people would be able to join and feel okay about paying $1.99. Um, but I've had that for a while and now 
you know, I feel like I needed to do more in my paid channel membership, but I didn't want to do it at the dollar and ninety nine rate. You know, a lot of people love me for my honesty and a lot of people hate me for my honesty. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, oh, it's because blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you because I felt like I needed to get more money in order to be sharing more and taking more out of my time to put more into the um, the paid membership. So I did that. Um, plus, what was a confirmation is one of my live streams. And people have been telling me for the longest to up it. So when they told me they think I should up it, I was like, that's confirmation. And so I decided to do that. Now, I know that it's, I talk about the painting videos a lot, but that's not going to be the base of my channel. And I, I explain that a lot because I don't want people to think, oh, she's going to be doing all her painting in there. No, I'll, I'll do paint and chat sometime. So there will be videos where I'm actually painting and talking, but that's not what the next level is purely about. And I'm not doing tutorials or telling you I mean, you can clearly look at the color that's going on the doll. You There's things that you can pick up on your own, but I'm not like highlighting anything in specific. Um, but I am painting. I am going to be doing um, other things. Okay, so this is where this channel is going to change a little bit. Um, this part, I want to get back to the fun part. All of the people that's been following me for years and years I started this channel back in, I think, 2013 or 2012. I can't remember. Um, and I did chats, but I mostly did my morning changes. I did um, a lot of, like, role play and silly skits and songs and all that stuff. I want to get back to that. So that's where this channel is going back to. Um, the chatters, I will keep that open for now. Um, eventually the chatters will not exist. Um, but for now I will continue to upload content in there, which, um, I just feel like eventually it's going to phase out because it's a lot of work to keep up all, all of the tiers. But for now, that's where my discussion videos, a lot of my discussion videos are going to be. There will be some discussion videos still here, but like a lot of the discussion videos will be between the chatters and the next level. The next level is where I will be doing my live streams and my um, painting, chatting, behind the scenes, vlogging, all that stuff. Everything will be on the next, it's called the next level. Um, that's the one for $4.99. Um, and I don't know. I may keep the $1.99 just because people might just want a particular part of that part. So, um, or like they might just want the videos. And then the other ones that want the live stream and the, you know, the other extras, they will come to, um, They will come to the uh, the next level, so that's where that's where I'm at with that. Um, I also, as far as my take on the Genesis um, uh, heat set paints going away, um, right now. I'm not in a panic. I'm not really stressing over it. I feel like there's going to be something else that comes up to replace it. Um, I've already started seeing they got a new line that they people are trying out with the paints and matting and all that jazz. I have not tried it yet. Um, you know, I'm willing to try it eventually on a kit, but right now I have enough products to last me for a little while. Maybe another year or two I don't know so um I'm not gonna worry about it till I have to if that makes sense I have enough stresses in my life to <laughs> to pick and choose and um you know like a lot of people been saying you know we started out we had to learn genesis um I'm always experimenting with colors and stuff like that with my baby so 
experimenting with another with another product will not be an issue for me. Um, I think that it should be definitely disclosed that you did paint with something other than Genesis Heat Set, so that the collectors can be a little bit more cautious, being that we won't know the longevity or the you know, how durable it is compared to Genesis, or if it's more durable. I mean, because here's the thing. People getting all hyped up, but there's a high possibility that somebody's going to come out with something that's better than Genesis. While we're thinking about the worst, there may be something that's better than. Um, I will never stop painting Reborns if I have to paint them with watercolor paints out of, you know, Michaels or somewhere. I, I will always paint Reborns. Um, because I love it. I love it so much. Um, I wouldn't mind trying heat dry paints just simply because you don't have to put it in the oven. So, um, you don't have to do that baking and all that and stuff and buying separate, you know, different ovens and all that stuff. So, you know, that's, that's a, that's an option too. But um, lately I've been more into silicone anyway, although I don't know my last few weeks I've been painting a lot of reborns behind the scenes, but I've been into silicone a lot more this year because I don't root my own vinyl. And so I just started saying that I just needed to paint, um, I need to paint silicone where I can root my own babies even though it takes me 20 years um update on Greta I paused on the rooting I was rooting and I took a little break to finish up some other babies behind the scenes because I need some money and it's gonna take me a little while to get through with his head and I'm just like let me finish this it's gonna get me some coins okay 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 but anyway, that is it. Um, this is Gigi, if you guys do not know. Um, she is the Gianna Sculpt. And I got her from Silicone Studios 2. <laughs> um, so their second website from Kathy. I really, really um, love her. I was supposed to sell her. Uh... At one point, I did offer her bald um, for like a day or so, and then I took her down. And then I said, when she gets rooted, she'll be available. Um, I just don't... I'm just looking at her. Um, I, I really love her, and I don't think she's going to go anywhere, to be honest. But we'll see. Um, I started rooting her, and like she has like baby edges and all that stuff and I've been carefully rooting this one because I don't know I wanted her to be really nice at the end and um so you know how it goes she gets rooted I might end up selling her but I really think I want to keep this one and I as I keep not so I think I've decided to sell Greta and keep her so I think that's what I'm going to do. And Greta will be sold as a boy, but can be <clears throat> easily switched as a girl, you know, by whoever buys him. Um, but that's what his box opening is going to be, boy. So, um, yeah, once I get his head like halfway finished, in the at least the front done, so people can get an idea what his hair gonna look like, how it's gonna curl or not curl or whatever, then um I will go ahead and, you know, list publicly his price and, you know, if somebody wanna reserve him, then they can reserve him and I'll finish him up. That's what I did with Taya, prototype Taya, and she sold and I finished her up, you know. And the mommy will tell you it wasn't a long wait, but that's how it is because, you know, once you got a buyer and they paid their money, I I tend to be a little bit more motivated to finish it because it's like, you know, I know how it is. Once you pay, you want your you want your baby. So I try not to drag it out. All right.
well i will see you guys in the next video i hope that a lot of you join the next level if not i will see you here on the gym pop bye bye now